In this video, we will see how we can generate an ice table so that we can substitute the equilibrium concentrations of reactants and products in an equilibrium constant expression and determine the value of K. In order to do that, we have to generate what we call an ice table. When solving equilibrium problems, it is necessary to determine equilibrium concentrations of reactants and products. This can be done by using an ice table because it makes it easy to substitute the equilibrium concentrations into the equilibrium expression. What does the acronym ICE represent? I represents the initial concentration. C represents the change in concentration. E represents the equilibrium concentrations. Let's look at a sample ICE table for a reaction between hydrogen and iodine forming hydrogen iodide. If this is the reaction that you are going to determine the equilibrium constant for, you can generate an ice table provided you have the initial concentrations and change in concentrations. Here we are going to assume that we have one mole of hydrogen to start with and one mole of iodine. Since the reaction is just starting, we have zero moles of hydrogen iodide. As the reaction proceeds, there is going to be a change in concentration. If you look at the coefficients of hydrogen and iodine, they are 1 and 1, which means every time one mole of hydrogen reacts with one mole of iodine, two moles of hydrogen iodide is formed. Or to look at it in another way, every time one mole of hydrogen reacts, it requires one mole of iodine. So for that reason, if x moles of hydrogen reacts, it will need x moles of iodine to form the products. In this case, it would be 2x. Now, what happens to the concentration of hydrogen? It's going to decrease. And the number of moles of hydrogen that has decreased in this case is x. So, we write it as minus x. So, the negative sign indicates a decrease in concentration. Next, we will write the equilibrium concentration. This row gives you the amount of hydrogen that is remaining or is available in an equilibrium system. So if you started with one mole of hydrogen and x moles of hydrogen has reacted and changed into hydrogen iodide, what remains would be initial concentration 1 minus change in concentration x or it is 1 minus x. Same is the case with iodine, 1 minus x would be the amount of iodine that is remaining at equilibrium. When hydrogen and iodine decreases as the reaction proceeds, the amount of hydrogen iodide increases. Therefore, at equilibrium, the amount of hydrogen iodide present will be the initial concentration which was 0 plus 2x or the value is going to be 2x. So now in the last row, we have the equilibrium concentrations of hydrogen, iodine and hydrogen iodide. Or these values represent the amount of hydrogen remaining, the amount of iodine remaining and the amount of hydrogen iodide formed during the process of the reaction. And if the system has attained equilibrium, these concentrations are also called equilibrium concentrations. Now let's see what would happen if you change the initial concentrations of hydrogen and iodine. We're going to start with 2 moles of hydrogen and 1 mole of iodine. Since it is the beginning of the reaction, there is 0 moles of hydrogen iodide. The change in concentration again is going to be exactly the same because the stoichiometric ratio in which hydrogen and iodine reacts is 1 to 1 or the coefficients of hydrogen is 1 and the coefficient of iodine is 1. So the change in concentration is going to be minus x and minus x. The amount of hydrogen iodide formed will be 2x. That doesn't change. But the equilibrium concentration is going to change the expression. It depends on the initial concentration of hydrogen which is 2 moles minus x or the equilibrium concentration expression would be 2 minus x. 
for iodine it's going to be 1 minus x and for hydrogen iodide it's going to be 0 plus 2x which is 2x so you will notice the difference is the initial concentration the change in concentration remain the same for the previous case and the present case next we will look at a different equation where the coefficients of the reactants are different and see what happens to the ice table or the equilibrium constant expressions here we have nitrogen reacting with hydrogen to form ammonia one mole of nitrogen always needs three moles of hydrogen and it will produce two moles of ammonia so let's say we are starting with two moles of nitrogen one mole of hydrogen and zero moles of ammonia the change in concentration is going to be minus x for nitrogen since every time one mole of nitrogen reacts it consumes three moles of hydrogen the decrease in concentration of hydrogen with respect to x would be minus 3x every time one mole of nitrogen is consumed to form ammonia it produces two moles of ammonia therefore the amount of ammonia formed is going to be 2x if x moles of nitrogen underwent a chemical change so the equilibrium concentration now is going to be 2 minus x for nitrogen and 1 minus 3x for hydrogen and 0 plus 2x for ammonia so this is the equilibrium concentration for nitrogen combining with hydrogen to form ammonia that's how you generate an ice table if you like the video please don't hesitate to rate comment and subscribe thank you and have a great day